Xavi Alonso just finished his first season as a football manager, guiding Real Madrid's Infantil A side, the under-13s, to a league title, going undefeated with 22 wins and one draw from 23 games. Real Madrid are excited at the idea of grooming Alonso as a manager and perhaps keeping him in their back pocket for a future head coaching position in the senior side. Usually there would be some caution for such an inexperienced young manager coming up through the ranks, but there is an almost unanimous feeling within the organization that Xavi will succeed, and the optimism is understandable. As a player, the Spaniard possessed a high tactical IQ, was a supreme organizer as a deep-lying playmaker, could read the game at an elite level, and used his intelligence and technique to control things without being the most athletic player. He's charismatic, and he has the ability to command the respect of a dressing room. Xavi has had coaching on his mind for a while, and the last few years of his playing career were a subtle transition into this new chapter of his life. He left Real Madrid in 2014 rather surprisingly and abruptly, after he learned there was an opportunity to play for Pep Guardiola at Bayern Munich and learn from him. Guardiola, it should be noted, treated the end of his career in similar fashion, by heading to AS Roma to learn from Fabio Capello, Dorados in Mexico to learn from Juan Malilo, before eventually going on a pilgrimage to learn from one of his biggest mentors, Marcelo Bielsa. And it didn't take long for Xavi to start using his coaching experience. Less than one year after retiring as a footballer, he began and completed his UEFA Elite coaching course alongside former teammates and Spanish colleagues Xavi Hernandez, Raul Gonzalez, Victor Valdez and Juan Capdevila. Not long after, Real Madrid welcomed Xavi to the club as manager of the under-13s. Both Xavi and Raul are now coaches at the Real Madrid youth level, with the latter coaching Cadet B, the under-15s. Both will likely be promoted to higher levels within the club after successful coaching debuts. The Madrid have quietly built an academy of coaches consisting of former players who understand the club's ethos, with the hope that they can find the next Zinedine Zidane and promote him if and when needed. But it's not easy keeping everyone in their ranks if the top-level job isn't available. In 2017, Guti won a historic treble with Real Madrid's Juvenil A side and was praised for his tactical scheme and identity, one which played with supreme directness, quick surgical passing, crossfield switching, counter-pressing, overloads from fullbacks and movement in the half-spaces. When Zidane left the club in the summer of 2018, many touted Guti as his successor, but once Yulan Lopetegui was brought in, Guti left to take on an assistant role at Besiktas. Despite being a better tactician than Santiago Solari, he wasn't chosen when Lopetegui was sacked due to Solari's next in rank role as Castilla manager. So it's not inconceivable that Xavi would move on like Guti did if Real Madrid don't promote him. He will likely be even more touted than Guti by other European clubs. Bayern Munich, for one, would welcome him into their coaching structure if given the opportunity. Bayern CEO Karl Heinz Rummenigge is a huge fan of Alonso both as a player and potential coach. In 2018, he said, he will be a fantastic head coach. Xavi radiates a natural authority. He's had great coaches. He speaks several languages. I'd like him to return to Bayern sometime. From a tactical perspective, it's difficult to fully assess what kind of scheme Xavi Alonso will implement once he hits his managerial career full stride. While his infantile A side steamrolled the league, the sample size is small, and the rest of the teams in the division are well below Real Madrid's level of talent. When asked about his coaching after the season ended, Xavi deflected the question, which also shows signs of humility and man management skills. First of all, the stars of this are them, the players, Xavi said. The ones that deserve it is them. They're the ones that are on the pitch and fight, play, know how to suffer, and have made us enjoy it very much. Generally speaking, it's been a very positive, very good season. I believe the kids have been very mature. They're learning many things, and at this stage, that's what it's about. Alonso is a Real Madrid legend. Fans will never forget his contributions to La Decima, nor will they forget the image of him running down from the stands to celebrate Sergio Ramos's famous goal in the 2014 Champions League final. Now he has the opportunity to build on that legacy as a coach, but there will be competition for his name.